Hey Feasters, and welcome to episode 201, and by the end of this episode, you are going to have the confidence to give up all of your leads, those bad leads, even if you have zero other leads coming in. Welcome to the Ask Rez Podcast, I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. And today's question comes from someone who was on my email list, which by the way, I love interacting with you if you're already on there. So many amazing conversations that I have are sparked specifically through that list. If you're interested, hop over to res.com and sign in. What you get in return is an email sequence on how to get the best clients. Now the question that came in, uh, this person admitted that SEO works very well for them and is in their words, the leads anyway, are very targeted, but they are often leads with low budgets. Here's the thing, tire kickers aren't good leads at all. They are a drain on your business, profits and time. It's critical to have the leads understand the full picture before you push them into your sales pipeline. That means budget needs to be addressed further up the chain, especially in this case. Look, the question says it right there, right? I'm afraid to filter out the tire kickers coming into my business because they are the only leads that I have, but they are don't have the budget for me. Assuming that SEO is working for inbound, and this person said they it is, and you are collecting names and emails as a request for your services, put a few more fields on that form, budget being one of them. You can start with a drop down that has the lower end of the spectrum in that as a choice, that's fine. And that's an easy thing to segment that list off of is when somebody picks one of those lower options, well, pass them along to somebody else. Obviously the SEO is working for this person. So as the inbound strategy works, the next thing is, is to optimize your content accordingly to bring in the better, the non tire kicker leads. Josh duty who was on live in the feast. And I'll link his episode in the show notes here does an amazing job in regards to optimization of his content. He talks a lot in the episode on listening and adjusting his content based on the feedback that he gets. Now you need to plug the leak that is causing the other leads to fall through those cracks. If it's budget related only, Aside from that field inside the contact form, like I suggest a sentence or two within the content around budget may do the trick as well. Another option is to write an article on why you are not the best option for them and give them the list of reasons why budget being one of them. It may sound a bit counterintuitive, but best to share that information up front in black and white rather than during a call or follow up email later on. Now, if it's any consolation, this isn't the first time I've heard of this. I too went through this FOMO stage, but here's the thing. Getting any leads is a false positive for your business. In fact, it's a drain on the business. As I said, it's awesome to be able to notice why leads aren't a fit though. Budget and timeline are usually the easiest ones and the first ones that you realize other aspects come later and through experience. As soon as you realize a lead isn't a fit and it happens again and again, then it's time to plug up that leak and move that criteria up the chain, get it in front of the lead sooner so that they can disqualify themselves from working with you. They don't want to waste time either. So if you don't take on projects for anything less than $5,000, put that in front of those that only have a budget for $2,000 so that they can then either just adjust their expectations if they really want to work with you or move on to someone else. 
If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me, by leaving me a tweet at Rez on Twitter, or as I said at the top, hop onto my email list. I'd love to have an engaged conversation with you over there and answer some of your questions. Until next time, it's your time to live in the feast.